everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm filming extremely last minute. This is hoping, well I'm hoping that this video is gonna go up tonight. It's gonna be a quick video. I'm filming it after I come back from work, hence you might be able to see lines on my face from where I've been wearing a dust mask all day. But today I'm gonna share with you what is in my everyday makeup bag. So for Christmas, I got this makeup bag from my mum or from my parents and I did choose this myself. I wanted a makeup bag that I could literally fit like all of my makeup in and my brushes and everything in one so that when I go and travel anywhere, I can just pick this up and take it with me. I don't need to like decant any products into a separate bag or anything. And it's super handy. It even fits my skincare in here and like toiletries and things like that. So yeah, very happy with this. In the top compartment, I have my makeup brushes, which I also got for Christmas. So both the makeup bag and the brush set are off of Amazon and they're not like expensive or anything like that. The brushes I think are quite nice. Like I won't show every single brush or anything, but like there's a lot of brushes. Like you get a full set of probably like 20 or more brushes for like, I don't know, nine pounds or something, which is really decent. And I really like the brushes. You've got foundation, bronzer, blusher, powder, You've even got like an eyebrow brush. Like there's literally everything that you could need like in this set. So that is from Amazon. Then in the bottom compartment of the makeup bag, this is the actual makeup. Now I don't use every single product every day, but I will talk you through what is in here very briefly. I have this, which is the Skin Saints Vitamin C SPF 30. This is what I put underneath my makeup to moisturize my skin and have a little bit of SPF protection from the sun. Also this e.l.f. matte putty primer. This is excellent. I really like this. I was kind of like on the fence as to whether this would be any good, like actually mattifying my skin before makeup, but it does, it really helps. So if you have oily skin like me, this might be a product to go for. I then also have this foundation, which is the Maybelline 30 Hour Wear Foundation. I got mine in the shade 48 Sun Beige, which is too dark for me unfortunately but i do have a really bright concealer that i'll show you in a minute that does kind of brighten this up and it works fairly well together and it's not too much but realistically i do need like a shade down from this but the concealer that i do pair with this is the collection lasting perfection concealer and this is in the shade number one rose porcelain which i believe is the lightest shade i think and yeah, they go together quite nicely. If I had a normal matching my skin tone foundation, then this concealer would be too light. So they work well together. This is, by the way, one of my favorite foundations. I have two favorites, the Maybelline one and also the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in matte. I love that one. For powder, I use the May. No, I don't. I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in shade number one transparent. Bronzer is from Wet n Wild and this is in the shade Sunset Striptease. So this is okay. It's not the most pigmented of products and it has a slight shimmer to it, which I do not want any shimmer in bronzers, blushes, anything like shimmer in highlighter only for me and eyeshadow, um, but it's not too much, but it is quite a subtle product, which I guess is nice but I just don't really feel like it's doing anything, so I wouldn't repurchase this, but it is all right, I will use the product up. Blusher, I have this, I've had this for over a year. This is the Vive Sunset Blush in the shade Pesca. Now this is a really nice blusher, and this is very pigmented in a good way. I love this, it's like the perfect kind of peachy pink shade. That's the kind of like blushy shades I tend to go for, and I just think it blends in really nicely with bronzer, and it doesn't look like too much if you know what I mean. Like it just looks kind of natural. Like it just blends in nicely. I really like this and I would recommend. Highlighter, which I actually really love. This is the Handayan. I don't know, it's, I found it on Amazon. It was just a cheap highlighter. And it's the Diamond Highlighting um, Powder in the shade number four. This is really, really nice. I really like this. It's the perfect shade for my skin tone. I have mentioned this in a few previous videos, but I do, really like this it's a great amount of shimmer it matches my skin tone perfectly and and yeah that's basically it 
That's all we need from a highlighter. Then I have this, which is an eyebrow pomade from e.l.f and mine is in the shade medium brown i have had this for a very long time well not like an extraordinarily long time because some products i have had for like eight years and i have actually chucked those out finally after eight years i decided to chuck them out um but maybe like two years or something i've had this for and this is what i use to fill in my eyebrows my makeup won't be looking so good right now so this is probably not the best time to film this video but <laughs> um i i should probably have filmed this like when i had better makeup but i really wanted to film a video for today because i really want to keep consistent with posting i did say i wanted to post two videos a week and i missed a video last thursday so i might post three videos this week but we shall see so there might be an evening routine on third on wednesday and on friday there might be a what i eat in a day video but who knows if I'll get time. Then for eyeshadow, quite recently, I've been using this palette, which is from Revolution. I got this for Christmas and it's basically a set of like neutral eyeshadows. Sorry, that's quite dazzling. And it has some kind of pinky warm tone shades at the bottom, but it is like a neutral palette. And it's just a great everyday palette for like if you went to school or work or if you kind of like more subtle looks it's great also i think it's great to have a palette like this alongside like a more colorful palette for example i also have this palette from revolution in here as well so i kind of pair them together where i do like a neutral look and then add a pop of color with this and i think that's quite nice so there we go i do have a lot more eyeshadow palettes by the way i'm not going to share with you those in this video this is kind of like my everyday makeup bag but i do have a lot of palettes mascara that i use is the maybelline lash sensational intense black mascara and this is a great mascara i really really like it i think it works quite well for my lashes it lengthens it adds volume and yeah all around it's a great product i did have the waterproof version of this i don't like that because i struggle to get it off my lashes in the evening cleansing balms are amazing at removing makeup but i even struggled with a cleansing balm to get off the waterproof version of this mascara and i don't like that i don't like it when you cannot physically get off all the mascara and you sort of feel like you're pulling your eyelashes out i hate that but yeah i do really like this product lip oh forgot something eyeliner i use this eyeliner from sleek and it says it's a 48 hour eyeliner i agree with that statement massively because this is literally so hard to get off like uh, like i've just said with the waterproof mascara this is worse i cannot like sometimes i will scrub 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 and you can still see a faint line where this has been like a black line it's not like it's red like if basically if i washed it off and it was like a red line i'd probably had a reaction to it but you can still see like a faint black line where this has been because it just sticks so much to your like skin so i <laughs> don't know if that's a great thing but uh, it is a good it's a good eyeliner i do quite like it lipstick this is a lipstick that i've been wearing every single day pretty much since i got it which i got it for christmas 2021 so it's been a year and like a month since i got this product it's from vive and it's in the shade 90s that's what it's called and it's just a nice kind of nudie brown color very everyday kind of shade for me that's why i like it oh i also have a lip liner oh it's here this is my lip liner i need to sharpen it i don't even have a sharpener so i might have to like i don't know find one somewhere um or buy one this is from wet and wild and it's in the shade brandy wine now it's kind of like a brownie kind of color and it's darker than the lipstick which means that i can pair them together and it just gives a bit of dimension and yeah i do really like this lip liner and it's obviously a cheap one so i would recommend only a couple of pounds the final product that i have in my makeup bag is this which is a lip gloss so this is the only lip gloss i have i only have two lip products like i'm not a lipstick person at all like i do wear it every day but i don't have like billions of shades so yeah this one is what i wear every day but on the odd occasion i may go for a lip gloss and this is from maybelline and it says it's got hyaluronic acid in it which is interesting but it says it's like a plumping gloss and it's in the shade number seven amber so this is like a really nice kind of brownie nude shade so it's kind of like the shade of my lipstick but as a gloss 
so yeah i like this and it does plump up your lips but you don't get that like tingling feeling that some lip plumpers do kind of give you when you pop them on which i don't dislike that like i don't mind the tinglingness but this doesn't have that but yeah that's everything in my makeup bag anything else is just like a hair grip or eye curlers or whatever um yeah that's my everyday makeup bag i don't tend to buy a lot of makeup i don't really buy new stuff that often i just kind of stick to what i know i love doing my makeup but i don't necessarily like enjoy buying loads of products and testing new things i enjoy testing eyeshadows but that's about it everything else i stick to what i know all i want to do is make my makeup look good and I only really play around with eyeshadow colours. So for me, it's probably quite boring to just see the same products that I would mention on my channel time and time again, but I'm not gonna change just for the sake of a video. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day and I will hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see you on Wednesday for an evening routine. Goodbye.